Committee for allowing me to do an informal morning announcement. Congratulations to all students. We've reached the end. I know it's been an unusual year and we're finishing on an unusual note. And I have a few announcements to make today. Uh, we're going to start with the agenda for next week. I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Simiasco for some guidance updates. And then we're going to finish with a goodbye to staff who are leaving us uh, so that you're aware and you can thank your teachers for the job they've done while at Sir Winston Churchill. Next week, we are running what's called culminating activity days. This might include exams, credit recovery opportunities, interviews, opportunity to complete missing assignments, and other activities that are teacher directed. Please make sure that you communicate with your teachers as to, the, as to the expectations for the week. The school is open and your teachers are in the building for your assistance. As to the schedule, Monday is a regular day. We will be conducting a locker clean out during the last 15 minutes of period one. Tuesday morning is a shortened schedule to, pit, to fit period one, two and three in. The afternoon will be the beginning of our culminating activity days, starting with period four. Wednesday morning, starting at 9.30, will be period one. Thursday will be period two, and Friday will be period three. You are invited to leave at the conclusion of your morning activity. However, transportation will not arrive until 3.20. A memo did go home to your parents, and we'll be posting this information on the Sir Winston website. If I can now turn the mic over to Ms. Simiasco for some guidance updates. Thank you, Mr. Ellis. Good morning, everybody. Let's start with our potential grads. Please continue to check your grade 12 D2L and the Sir Winston website. The subsite for graduation will have information for you about what's going to be happening for you and with you at Bethany. Uh, but to start, make sure that you've completed your exit plan. And then next Monday and Tuesday at lunch, come on down to guidance and pick up your grad gown and your tickets. Um, number three, please pass your courses so that there are no issues. Number four, if any of your guests require accessible seating at Bethany, please let me know. You can either visit me in guidance or send me an email and we'll make those arrangements. And um, then we'll see you at grad on the 29th at Bethany. Grade 9, 10, 11s for you. Number one, pass your classes. Then number two, please check your D2L. There's going to be some information posted in there next week for opportunities for you to be volunteers and mentors as we move into our return to learn next year and we continue to build our fabulous Sir Winston community. So if you're interested in taking a leadership, mentorship, volunteer part in that, check D2L. There'll be a doc there for you. And then in the summer, mid to late August, I would expect there'll be information on the website about timetables for next year, registration and September startup. So if you're wondering where are you going to get your timetable and when and all that information, check the website. It'll be posted there. Thanks, Mr. Ellis. Thank you, Ms. Miasco, and to the guidance team. Okay, the final portion of today's informal session is to honor those staff that are leaving us. Uh, the first person I want to call up was a surprise guest this morning, and it's uh, your former principal, Miss Gilmore, um, and we finally get to give her a long overdue goodbye. So come on up, Miss Gilmore. Uh, <laughs> she wasn't warned, um, and she just was in the building today, so I thought, what a great opportunity. And she's also up here because both her and Mr. Wilson will be uh, distributing some uh, parting gifts to the staff who are leaving. So thank you. It was a pleasure working with you, Ms. Gilmore, for uh, two and a half years. Um, I know it's been two and a half years of unusualness a and a, a bit of a blur, uh, but Ms. Gilmore did move on um, and is now a superintendent of education with the DSBN. So thanks for your time here at Swinston. Thanks. Uh, the next group of staff I'd like to call up are four teachers who are leaving us um, after a shorter period of time at Sir Winston, but a very valuable time with us. Uh, could Miss Stickney, Miss Costa, Mr. Ribeiro, and Mr. Yando please come uh, to the microphone? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, some could sit and someone on the side. <laughs> Thanks. This is what you get when you don't practice like SWC TV. <laughs> 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 
Okay, starting with Ms. Costa. Ms. Costa joined us this year and filled a huge void on our staff at, on an emergency basis um, to, to, to just jump right into the classes and uh, contribute in English uh, for the entire year. So um, on short notice, it's not easy, but she was willing to be flexible and take over a class at, at the last minute and has done a wonderful job and we've appreciated everything that she's done. Uh, for the year um, and I should note that there's a few staff members up here three of them that um, could reappear in our building next year you never know what uh, the next steps are but it's important to wish them um, a thank you and and good luck on the next steps of their career uh, so miss miss Costa also did involve herself with the drama club I believe and um, is, was trying to be involved with a lot of the extracurriculars in our school so thank you miss Costa and mr. Wilson has a little gift yeah. Um, the second staff member joined us um, this semester, Mr. Ribeiro, and he came to us from Ann Meyer from the first semester and has fit seamlessly into the science department and has done a wonderful job. At the last second, uh, we were scrambling to organize a junior soccer team this year, um, and without hesitation, Mr. Ribeiro put up his hand and volunteered to take that on so that we were, um, with, the, with a tremendous turnout with athletics, we were able to run two teams for the soccer uh, this year. So thank you for your contributions this semester and wish you luck at your next steps. And Mr. Yando also joined us this semester and also I believe from Ann Meyer, if I'm correct. And um, it, 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 once again, similar to the first two that I went through, Mr. Yando contributed a lot of positive things to Sir Winston this semester, um, was teaching drama period one, but then was um, thrown a curveball and asked to pick up a couple more sections as the semester rolled on um, and fit seamlessly into those courses and as well was involved with organizing the drama club. So thank you for your time here, Mr. Yandel, much appreciated. And last but not least is Miss Stickney, who is completing her second year at Sir Winston Churchill. Uh, she's been with the board for many years prior to that, and we were lucky and fortunate enough to um, have her apply for a music section um, uh, two years ago, um, and we were much appreciated of everything you've contributed to the music department while being here um, but unfortunately sometimes in a career you have an opportunity uh, to make a move that makes sense and in this case she's taken on a role of program lead at E.L. Crosley and we wish her nothing but the best and thank her for all of her contributions here thank you Thanks, and I, I'm going to invite, we're going to do the retirements next, and I will invite the staff members up one by one. Thanks. The first staff member I'd like to introduce you to is Mr. Lipset. Please come on up. Why was Mr. Wilson the only one to clap for that? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Lipset has been with Sir Winston Churchill for 26 years. That's an extremely long time and has made a lot of contributions to this school over those 26 years. In total, Mr. Lipset has worked 30 years with the board and has always been quite active in the school community, willing to coach, willing to teach any subjects that were thrown his way. It has been much appreciated in my three years being here working with you, Mr. Lipset. Um, I know you're a hardworking and dedicated teacher and currently in the business department. Um, students have had the fortunate um, experience to be a part of your classes over the years. And I know that um, you know in 26 years of, of teaching at Sir Winston, there's probably many alumni uh, that have been much appreciative of your, the work that you did while at this school. So thank you very much for your time at Sir Winston. I can turn the mic over if you'd like to say a few words and then we have a couple parting gifts for you. Thanks, Mr. Ellis. All right, Bulldogs, this is my last chance for a rant. By the way, I define... <laughs> I define a rant as teaching with emotion. We, we went over that, and I got a T-shirt with that on it about five, seven years ago. So I started here in 1992. First class was grade nine typing room 206. I had a long blonde mane, in case you know, weren't sure of that. <laughs> I'm not sure what disappeared first, the typewriters or my hair. 
but it's been a nice ride, okay? I enjoyed every moment of it. Uh, I had about a 20-minute session uh, where my grade 12s uh, sent me a lovely card yesterday, bought me a nice golf shirt just like I needed, and uh, we had a chance to reminisce. And, and the nice part about teaching business is, um, you know, I, I often get them for two or three or four classes, so, so I get to see them mature and stuff. It's nice. The only downside is, is uh, there's probably 800 kids in the school that I don't ever get to meet. But, but anyways, it's been a fun ride. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Lipset. <laughs> the next staff member I'd like to introduce you to is Mr. Glantz. Come on up. Mr. Glantz has been with the DSBN for 21 years and has spent the previous 10 years at Sir Winston Churchill. He never said no to volunteer for coaching or running any club through many of the years involved at Sir Winston. And um, more recently, since I've come here in the three years here, I know that he's been quite involved with the girls hockey when it's running and with the fishing club that he brought back this year and quite involved obviously with um, photography and com tech and has done a wonderful job um, passing on some of the knowledge in those areas to his students. Um, for the previous uh, so many years. So uh, thank you for your contributions to Sir Winston. And um, did you want to say anything? Or? It's up to you. Oh, sure. I could, I, 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 I could do that. Um, it's interesting. Uh, Sir Winston Churchill is my last stop. But Sir Winston Churchill was also my first stop. Uh, I'm from Montreal originally, and my, the first high school that I, that I uh, um, attended was Sir Winston Churchill, so it's just kind of uh, interesting that we have got both ends here. Uh, Sir Winston is my seventh school, saving the best for last. Uh, it's uh, been a, you know, as Mr. Lipset said, it's, uh, it's been a wonderful ride. I've had a great opportunity. I've had great opportunities here, and I'd say the best part would be the uh, students and the uh, chance that they gave me to in impart my wisdom and for me to learn from uh, from them, from you guys as well. So uh, thank you very much for having me here. Uh, it's been wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Glantz. And the final teacher I'd like to call up is Mr. Flood. Last and definitely least, but no, I'm just <laughs> Um, Mr. Flood, what can you say? Um, it's just uh, there's been a lot of opinions thrown my way from staff members, but uh, I can't put it on to uh, SWC TV. Uh, he's been 33 years with the board, 10 years at Sir Winston Churchill, and his claim to fame, as so he says, is that he's one of the few teachers in Ontario that has probably taught every grade from grade one all the way until actually grade 13 because he would have been involved with uh, OAC back in the day so um, oh well there you go junior <laughs> kindergarten even more <laughs> and they were the well uh, <laughs> but they knew their math and that's that's it <laughs> so, so um, also very involved with the Sir Winston school community uh, has been involved with coaching hockey for many years here um, and he points out that he did organize many of the practice plans. And uh, he I know that even before I came to Sir Winston, he pointed that out to me. Um, he did um, involve himself this year and for many years with the badminton team, uh, led um, that team this year to a gold medal finish at OFSA. So uh, nicely uh, done there, Mr. Flood. And more importantly, in the classroom has had a great effect on many of our math students for many years at um, Sir Winston Churchill and uh, for that I know in the last three years it's been a pleasure to work with you Mr. Flood and I wish you nothing but the best in retirement. Thank you. <laughs> yes it's been great being here at uh, Sir Winston get to finish off my career after uh, leaving West Park with my best friend Camo. That's my boy, you know, he's my unicorn too, so. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't have too much more to say than that. I enjoyed every moment of my coaching and teaching here at uh, Sir Winston Churchill, and I just have uh, 
one thing, and uh, Mr. Ellis, do you know what uh, one math textbook said to the other math textbook? Please tell me. You think you've got problems. <laughs> That's it. Bulldogs, congratulations on a successful year, bringing the school closer to uh, back to normal after coming out of two years of um, an unstable time uh, in the in the world and within our high school uh, you've been a big part about the uh, to be involved with the reset this year I wish you a safe and relaxing summer I wish the grade 12 is moving on to the next steps all the best and um, all the best to conclude the final days of this year thank you